capturing and recording images to track wildlife. There are over 50 cameras located throughout the Irvine Ranch Natural Landmarks. Scott Graves with the Irvine Ranch Conservancy explains the focus of the wildlife monitoring program. We know that animals like humans tend to use paths that offer the least resistance. So if there's a trail that's already out there, more than likely the animals are using that trail too. Wildlife monitoring is used to track both human and wildlife access on the land and their interaction. So that way we can adjust um, our access and our activities to have as little impact on the wildlife as possible. As far as timing of the data captured? A lot of the animals, um, you know, due to their close proximity to humans, tend to like to come out at night when we kind of go to sleep. Um, so a lot of the activity we see on those cameras ends up happening at night. Every week, volunteers retrieve these images. We're with Linda Horn and Peter Wetzel. Driving into Weir Canyon, our first camera stop, 39 images. Five cameras to go. Up some steep, winding, one-way roads, including a few hikes. We get to see the wildflowers as they come uh, and as they bloom and as they fade away and get to see uh, the animals that are attracted to the watering holes. It's, it's a wonderful volunteer opportunity. Something that's especially rewarding. Sometimes the images have nothing, but when we see a mountain lion. That makes our day. We see a mountain lion on the camera and we are able to look at it as we're picking them up. We have a little reader and we can look at the, the images. Of, I'm driving and Peter's over there looking, oh, look at that, mountain lion, deer, 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 mountain lion. You know? So that really gets us excited when we see that. Once they return, it's Catherine Lee's job to document the data. We want to make sure the wildlife are healthy by making sure their numbers aren't dropping and we can do that through the cameras. We can also check if there is any like illnesses in the population, like such as mane, which is like a skin illness, like sometimes coyotes and deer can get. And we can like, if we see any sort of signs like that, we can tell appropriate agencies to deal with it. As far as the big picture? This program has provided thousands and thousands of data points through the images that were captured that provided a lot of insight for not only Irvine Ranch Conservancy, but the scientific community at large. And it's thanks to all the people who give their time that make this possible. We wouldn't know nearly as much as we do about the animals that live out there um, and how you know our access is impacting them. So we really rely heavily on our volunteers and it's really great that they dedicate the time to, to help us in this pursuit. For more information on the Irvine Ranch Conservancy and volunteering opportunities, you can visit their website. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twegg.